Hi everyone. So I'm going to do a haul today. Um, it's mostly going to be, oh, sorry, had to get more comfortable. Um, it's mostly going to be a beauty haul. Um, like I said, I know this isn't really a beauty channel, but I did get some cute things recently. And, oh, wait a second. Hold on. I have more that I forgot about. Okay. That's a little embarrassing, but um, I have some nail polishes that I want to show you guys. And I don't know if you heard that, but that was them all spilling out all over the place. Um, yeah, I just forgot to pull these, so let me grab them. Ah, I can't remember what all the bottles look like. Okay, great. So... <clears throat> I think I'm going to save the beauty part for last because I want to swatch things and I'm going to do it on my hand. I don't want it to get on anything else. So, um, I went to Marshall's and I think that's where I got everything from. Yeah, so I went to Marshall's. Um, I'm obsessed with it there. I know like some people don't like shopping there and I'm not sure why because you're getting like designer brands for cheap. So I don't really know what the problem is. But anyway, um... I went shopping with my mom and I picked up a few things. Okay, so I've been dying for a bodysuit. Um, I kind of just want a basic black one, but I found this one and I just thought it was really cute. So picked it up. <gasps> Look how cute it is. Oh, I just love it. So this is the bodysuit and the little butt. Um, it's by Element and it's kind of ruched here and the whole thing is lace. I hope it's not really itchy when I put it on. I kind of have a feeling that it's going to be a little itchy. But, oh well, I just think it'll be really cute if I wear, like, high-waisted shorts with it or something. Um, it's by Element. I think it's an extra small. Oh, I'm not sure. I hope it's just a small because I might have to... Ooh, here's the tag. Wow, okay. So, um, I'm just seeing the tag now on this. And this was, um, 50 bucks. I never would have paid 50 bucks for this. And how much did I get it for? $7.99. So I just don't get why people don't love Marshalls because I love it. Um, oh, my hair is really annoying me. Sorry. So I keep running my hands through it. Then um, I got this dress. It's really cute. Um, I like the cups right here. I think they're kind of like, it has like a little bit of a corset feel. And then it's just a dress um, and it's like ruched in the back. I don't know. It just has like a really like nautical feel to me. I think it's, I can't tell if it's like blue or like a dark gray. Um, but I don't know. It just has a nautical feel. And as you know, I'm obsessed with nautical things. It's by a brand called Red Tulips. I don't know. Never heard of it. Um, but it was $19.99. So I thought it was pretty good for that. Um, then my mom found this. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm crazy about it because I'm not really like a pink person. I only like, like, certain shades of pink. Um, I don't know. I think I like the hem of this and the way that this, like, top is shaped more than the actual color. But this is it. Um, it's just this little, like, lacy top. I'm not really sure what design is on it. But this is, like, the body of it. It kind of, like, has, like, kind of, like, a waterfall effect. I don't know how it kind of just, like... I'm not sure how to really describe the hem, but, um, I don't know. This is the top. I mean, it's pretty cute. I feel like I can do something, like, really cute with it. Um, it's by a brand called Lovely 153. I'm not sure. I don't know if you guys, like, recognize this tag, but I've never heard of this brand before. But it was $14.99, so we'll see what we can do with that. Um, then I just got a pair of Levi's. Not that exciting, but... These are the jeans. Um, usually I really like um, denim that's like a darker wash than this. But I don't know. I kind of really like the wash on it. Um, it's like a medium wash. So it's not like it's really light. Um, I don't know. I guess I just tend to like dark denim better. But I don't know. I just thought that they were really cute. I really like the way they fit. It's um, a demi curve fit. And you know. Just skinny, just plain skinny jeans. Not that exciting. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm not sure how much these were before, but I feel like Levi's run 
between forty and fifty dollars. But um, I got them for nineteen ninety nine, so it was pretty good. And usually I don't see jeans at Marshalls or TJ Maxx that I'm like crazy about. Either I don't like the wash on them or um, the pockets are like bedazzled and um, I'm kind of really picky about how my pockets look on my jeans. So um, I just like those Levi's because they were really basic. Okay, and then I got these shoes, which I am absolutely obsessed with. Um, I don't really like to splurge on shoes for some reason. I would rather splurge on a handbag or, I don't know. I just don't really like to splurge on shoes for some reason. Um, not that these are that much of a splurge. Well, I guess they are for me because I paid $40 for them. But they originally were, I don't know how much they were before. Because Marshall's tags will be like, they'll say like compare to or compare at. Um, but I, that's never really the price that I feel like they were actually priced from the designer. But oh well. I'm sure that these were upwards of $50. Um, but these are the shoes. Oh my god, I'm just obsessed with them. They kind of have like this basket weave effect. Um, I don't know, just like a woven effect. And it's kind of like in between suede and leather. Um, I'm not really sure what the material is, but that's the best way I can describe it. It's just in between suede and leather. Um, but they're just wedges. Um, Sorry, trying to give you like a really good view of them. I feel like they're going to get dirty quickly, so I'm going to have to be really careful with them because even in the store, they kind of had like smudges on them, but I feel like you can just wipe it clean, so that's pretty good. Um, they're Steve Madden, and I just love all of his shoes, so I don't know. I'm just obsessed with them. I put them on, and oh, they're just so gorgeous, so I can't wait till the weather gets warm and I can wear them. Okay, on to the beauty thing. So, I've never seen this before, but at Marshall's, um, I saw, like, a makeup box, uh, like, a makeup gift set, and, um, they were gift sets for, um, I don't know if you pronounce it NYX or NYX, um, I've been saying NYX, but I feel like that's wrong, so I'm just gonna call it NYX, and then, um, ELF, which is, um, you know, this like new, I feel, I, I mean, I guess it's like a newer line because I've never really like heard of it before. Um, but their products are pretty good and like they're pretty cheap. I mean, I got a really cute lipstick from them recently, like a matte nude lipstick and it was only like $2. So pretty amazing. But anyway, I found these gift sets, um, by ELF and by NYX and, um, I don't know, they just had like some pretty good stuff in them. So I'll show you, um, what I got in the ELF box first. So um, I got a pair of lashes. I really like these because um, they're pretty like voluminous and they come with the glue and everything. Um, they're just black. They have like, you know, really long um, hairs and then shorter hairs, you know, in between. Um, so I got those. I mean, I'm excited to wear these. I think I'm going to save them for my birthday um, and not just like waste them on a random night unless I have something special that comes up. Um, and then it came with uh, lengthening and defining mascara. I'll show you the two first. So they came with that. Oh, uh, that's blurry, but it's not like it says anything great. It just says ELF lengthening, ah, lengthening and defining mascara. Um, and then this is the brush. Um, the brush is kind of cool. I feel like I haven't like typically had um, makeup brushes that or mascara brushes that um, look like this. So, I don't know how great their mascara is going to be. Um, I've never used their mascaras. I've only used their lipsticks. So, we'll see how that turns out. And then, um, it came with three um, brightening eye pots, which I guess are just their eyeshadows. So, it came with this color. Um, I don't think that the colors are going to be true to what the camera showing you as opposed to what I can see in real life, but it's that color. It's kind of, I know that the gift set was called like mauve something. I don't know. It, but it's just like all mauve based color. So try and like swatch it on my fingers. Um, so that's the color. It's coming up like, like a dusty pink. Um, I don't know, but in the pot, it actually looks more mauve. Then it came with this color, which is like an even deeper mauve. Let's watch this. So, ah, 
<laughs> sorry, I'm trying to hide the other color on my finger. So the, um, these two, that's this color that I just swatched. So a deeper, um, dusty purple. Making a mess over here. Um, and then it came with this one, which is, I guess, the deepest of the mauves. Yeah, comes out really deep. Um, I really like the colors and like even just like um, touching them with my fingers, they feel like really smooth and nice quality. So we'll see how that turns out. And then it came with a little, um, came with a brush. So that's good because I really don't, um, I don't know. It's kind of like, I feel like it's a little bit embarrassing to be on here and to not have, um, you know, a lot of like makeup or a lot of like makeup brushes. I really don't have that much. I just have like a little like makeup bag. I feel like I watch these beauty bloggers and they have so much makeup and I just like don't compare to the makeup collection that they have, but oh well, I guess I'm starting a, getting a bigger collection now. Um, and then it came with a braining eyeliner just in black. I'm not sure how the eyeliner is going to be. Let's just see. Ooh, it actually goes on, like, pretty smooth. Sometimes, like, I feel like um, pencil eyeliners don't go on your eye smoothly. Like, you know, they kind of go on rough, and, like, you can't draw the lines precisely. Um, but I just drew it on there, and it came out pretty smooth, so I'm pretty happy with that. The only thing is this cap doesn't stay on it. It's like really loose so it's been annoying sitting in my makeup bag but oh well okay so then um nyx um it also came with a pair of eyelashes this is like crazy though i would never really wear this just on a regular night out so um i think i'm just gonna save them for halloween um i'm gonna be a mermaid as i am every year um <laughs> and i think that um they'll look cute with my mermaid outfit so these are the eyelashes yeah, see, like, even the design, it's, like, not typical eyelashes. I mean, it doesn't look like, you know, this pair that I showed you earlier. And they're pink and purple, so I don't really feel like I'm just going to wear these, like, you know, during the day or anything. So, um, but, I mean, they're still cool. They're not, like, so crazy that I would never think to wear them. So I'm just going to save them for um, Halloween. Um, okay, this one also came with eyes. This one came with a lot. I was like really impressed at the amount of stuff that I got. So it came with those eyelashes. And then it came with um a complete eyeshadow palette. Triple eyeshadows for sexy eyes only. So I guess I have sexy eyes only. Um, so this is the palette that it came with. It's a little dusty, sorry, because I used it, but um see the colors aren't coming up true on the camera, but it comes with like a really light pearly pink. Um, and then kind of like a cappuccino color, um, and then like a mocha, um, brown, and then it comes with a little applicator. I really like this applicator. It's like, um, you're not going to be able to see because there's eyeshadow on it, but, um, on either side, it has like two different textures. So I'm not really sure why, um, like what the textures are doing, but anyway, I don't know when I was putting it on the brush and then applying it to my eyes, I really liked the way it felt. Um, but this um eyeshadow palette is called Copa Cabana. And then it came with two um little um eyeshadows. They're kind of like prisms. Um this one's called Asphalt. Kind of like like a bronze gold color. Sorry, I really hate when there's like eyeshadow dust on the top. And then it came with this color, which is called Beauty Queen, which is kind of like um, like a chocolatey purple color, and then it has like flecks of gold in it. Yeah, I feel like you can see that on camera, like the gold flecks. Um, so that's that color. So those are really cute. I like those. And then it came with three lip glosses, two... Um, lipsticks and then um a lip pencil and it also came with a liquid eyeliner what color is this black pearl so it's just a basic um it's not felt tip it's just like you know a bristle not a bristle i don't know it's like synthetic on the end i'm not sure i can't really think of the word to describe it's just like a brush like i don't know i can't describe it really <laughs> sorry guys um 
Okay, so then it came with this lip gloss, which is like really pretty. Um, in the color crystal. So I guess it's just to jazz up any lip color that you have underneath. Just swatch it. These smell good too. They kind of smell like candy. I don't know if you can see. It's like, well, you can see it. It's like clear and then it has like, um, you know, like iridescent flecks in it. So that's pretty. And then it came with another um, Brush On Gloss Killer Lips. Um, what color is this? Ah, this is the color Copper Penny. A lot seems to come out on the brush though. Okay, so then that's that color right there. I just swatched it, Copper Penny. It doesn't really look copper to me. It's kind of more like a rose, um, like a dusty rose color. I like this one. I'm like really into reds recently. Um, this one's just the color Burgundy. Yeah, I really like this color. It comes out like really deep. So then this is Burgundy right here. I'm sorry, I feel like every time I film, my nails look so bad. Um, I just took my nail polish off last night, and then I couldn't be bothered to do it again. So then I'm going to swatch one of the lip colors right here. This is the um, this is the lipstick, and this is in the color, where is this color? Silk. Not sure if I'm going to use that this much because it's a little too brown for me. Um, that's the color right there. I feel like on camera it's coming up more of like um, a purpley. And I mean, I guess that it is like a purpley brown. Um, this is the color that they have at the bottom. But I don't know. I'm not really crazy about it. And then this is the color. I feel like this is called Silk. Oh, no. This is called Saturn. Sorry. And this is the color that I would be more prone to use. That's Saturn right there. Um, so it's nice. Here's the lipstick. They're nice. I just don't know if, um, I'll get more use out of Saturn, the, you know, the pinkier one, which is right, uh, right here. Um, not sure about the one before it though, because it's just a little too brown for me. And then I love the lip pencil that it comes with. I just love this color. It's like a really, really deep red. Um, this is it right here. This is the lip pencil. But I feel like you can't screw it up. I mean, I feel like this is like all you get. It's like this tip, which is kind of annoying because it looks like you can screw it up, but I'm not, it's just, it won't work. So I'm not sure if that's all I'm going to get, but I hope not. Um, okay. And then this is the color, um, Narcissus, which I guess is like, I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I just really like the color, but I hope I can find a way to screw it up or push it up or whatever I have to do because I really like it and I don't want that to be the only thing I get. <laughs> um, okay, so then the last thing that I got um, were uh, nail polishes. And um, I got two boxes and two nail polishes came in one box. And I can't remember the pairs that they came in, um, but I think they were, I think they were like this. So, I think that I got um, these two together, and it's the Nicole um, by OPI line. So, this is the first one that I got. Um, I really like it. It's like a really deep purple, and then when you put it on, like, it comes out, like, kind of glittery, um, but it's just, like, slightly. Um, and this is in the color I've Got Bieber Fever, which I definitely don't because I'm not a Justin Bieber fan, but that's okay. I still like the color, so oh well. Um, and then I got this color, which is like a really light pink. It's almost white when you put it on, but I love it because it just makes your nails look like so nice and um, like really clean and manicured. So I really like the way that that looks. And this is in the color Studio Mama, so that's cute. And then um, I got this color, which is a white, um, but it's like pearlized. It's glittery when you put it on your nails. Um, it's really pretty. So I like that. And this is in the color. It's all about the glam. And then I got this one. Um, I'm wearing it on my toes and I really like it. It's like a, it's like a cherry red. Um, so 
it's really cute for the summer and it's called court is ready for a petty um i really like when uh my nail polishes have like fun names i don't know i just really like it some of the nail polishes that i have are like really creative like um i get the brand spoiled and i feel like it's from um forget who makes this oh i think it's wet and wild um it's like a sister company or you know, their baby company or something, but, like, they always have the funnest names, like, I always get, like, really crazy colors from them, um, yeah, these are the colors that I have, like, the really crazy ones, and, um, what do they have, <laughs> this one's called Trust Fund Baby, Jewelry Heist, Battle of the Sexes, The Parking Meter Expired, I have some in here that are called, like, which one is this, it's, like, a really, like, bright neon it's super hot um did I dye it too blonde I don't know I just like love the names that they come up with for nail polishes it's just really funny okay so I did a bit of a ramble there and showed you things that were not in my haul but anyway um I don't know I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what I got I just really love doing hauls and I hope you guys don't think that I have a shopping addiction I feel like all of my videos have been hauls so far um but I think I'm going to do, like I said in my previous, or I don't know if I said it, um, but I want to do a jewelry collection because I have a really eclectic mix, so I want to do that. And then um, I think I'm going to show you guys my wardrobe, how I organize it. Um, I'm always interested to see how people organize their wardrobes and how they have it set up. So I think I'm going to do that. Maybe I'll do a shoe collection. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to save that for summer because my summer shoes are a lot more fun. So we'll see. Um, but thanks for tuning in guys and, um, I'll see you in a few days with another video. Bye.